good morning. So I have some rhetorical questions for you. And of course you won't be able to answer me in person, but I want you to think about the answers as I ask them. And then I'll give them to you. So when you go outside and run around and yell and play, do you breathe faster or do you breathe slower than you are breathing right now? Of course, faster. And what would happen if you tried to do all of that running around and yelling and playing while holding your breath? Do you think that would work very well? Of course not. My cuckoo clock. <laughs> and why is that? Because we need air. So the more we move around, the more air we need. And is there anything that you have to do to receive air? Think about it, you have to breathe it in. To receive the air, we have to breathe it in. And do you have to really remember to breathe? Of course, we don't even think about it. We just breathe without thinking about it. Thank goodness we don't have to remember and think every time we breathe. Because what would happen if we forgot to do it? It would be bad. We could get lightheaded, we could get dizzy, we could pass out. So of course, some very bad things could happen if we forget to breathe. So having to remember to receive more of something like air so that we can do more of another thing like run is something that we see in today's scripture reading. The story that Jesus tells is about someone who owed a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money to the king. But they couldn't pay the money back to the king when the king asked for it. But the king forgave the man what he owed. What that means is, he said, it's okay that you can't give me my money back. In, in fact, let's just forget about it. You don't have to ever pay me back. That was pretty nice of the king. But later on, that same man who the king forgave had someone who owed him just a little bit of money. And you might think that because he was forgiven by the king, that he would turn around and show that same forgiveness to the person who owed him. But it didn't turn out that way. Not at all. In fact, the man didn't offer any forgiveness to the other person. And when the king found out, he was very, very, very angry, and the story didn't turn out so well. So it ended badly, but it didn't have to. If only the man had remembered the forgiveness that had been given to him by the king, he could have shared some of that same forgiveness with the person who owed him. And remember how we were talking about how you have to remember to breathe more? if you want to run more. So if we didn't breathe and we wanted to run more, some not good things would happen. In today's story, Jesus is telling his disciples and us to keep remembering the forgiveness that God is giving to us so that we remember to share that forgiveness with others. Forgiveness is one of the most powerful and important and healing gifts we can ever give. And forgiveness is a gift that God keeps giving to us, to you and to me, so that we can keep sharing it with others. If we remember that God is forgiving us, then it will be easier for us to share that forgiveness with those around. And that's the good news for today. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for Jesus, who teaches us about your forgiveness so that we can give the gift of forgiveness to others. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.